sister today and we've been shopping. We went into Route 21 actually and found some very interesting makeup. So my cousin had the beautiful idea of me doing a video with all of this very inexpensive makeup. This is a dollar liquid foundation that claims to be medium to full coverage. I think it was on clearance. So. It was on clearance. Yeah, it was on clearance. Um, they only have five shades. Very sketchy looking because some of the shades were literally bright yellow and there weren't like barely any color selection at all. An eyeshadow palette swatched some of the colors and they don't look that bad. So I'm excited to try some Rue 21 makeup out and we're gonna see if it's any good. My sister here used to always help me with my YouTube videos back in the day, so maybe she can assist me. Just a little bit. Okay, so it is the next day and um, I'm about to apply my makeup. I can't lie, I'm a little bit scared, but it's okay, I'll survive. I didn't buy a primer. They didn't have a primer, I don't think. Um, I'm going to use this LA Colors, actually, face primer. It's a very cheap, inexpensive face primer, but it works very well. So, we're going to start off with the foundation. This was actually on sale or clearance or something for a dollar. Um, I got this shade Ivory. Up here in the corner, it says it's supposed to be full coverage on the back it says um, it's going to be full coverage with a soft flawless finish um, it's supposed to have a lightweight formula and a long lasting finish too so this is what it looks like i'm really scared very thick it's almost like elmer's glue um it smells like just cheap fragrance doesn't look like there's gonna be that much coverage in it I don't know if you guys can see it um, but right here it already looks really sheer doesn't look like I think their full coverage claim is gonna fall flat it's pretty much what I'm trying to get to so I'm gonna use this real techniques sculpting brush how this goes Definitely too light for me. Feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't feel like a foundation. Feels pretty nice, honestly. I mean, it feels like a moisturizer. It's really hydrating. Um, like play makeup. There's zero coverage in this at all. It is a tinted moisturizer. You can see all my little freckles. The redness around my nose, there's no coverage in this at all. So, um, I'm going to apply a little bit of powder on my skin just to absorb any of the oil so that my next product will apply a little easier. And I'm just doing a little bit. I also grabbed this powder foundation in the shade Dark Brown. Dollar also. And I'm going to try and attempt to use this as kind of like a bronzer or contour. When I open it, this, it's very messy already. It is a nice packaging, but it is pretty cheap too. You can tell how um, light the packaging is. It has just made a mess of its own. Oh, maybe somebody has messed with it. Does that look promising? This same brush that I used to do the powder, uh, and then I'll probably go in with a smaller brush to try and do a little bit more specific sculpting. So really, it has a really nice creamy texture to it. It looks slightly patchy on my hand when I did that, and it looks like a really muddy color too, so. Okay, it's not that bad. Um, it's also blending pretty well. It looks slightly more orangey on camera than it does in real life, I think. I it, but it blends out really nicely. And you could get a pretty even distribution of color on your skin. It's, it's alright. It's not the best. I do think I kind of look a little bit dirty. Um, 
So I think the, t the shade is a little off for using it as um, a bronzer, but the actual formula of it is pretty good. Now, what I'm really excited for is this eyeshadow palette. This is the Bare Nudes eyeshadow palette. It says, apply each color solo or blend the harmonizing shades to create a signature look. Start off with the shade Nude, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques brow highlighting brush. There's quite a bit of fallout already. Um, it's slightly chalky, but the pigment is pretty good in it. I really don't feel like I'm wearing that much makeup on right now, so I don't know if that is... It's just, it all feels really light, the, that foundation does. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything, which doesn't really look like I'm wearing anything either, so... Like you can see, it's a really powdery product. It is kind of, it does have a, like a creamier texture to it, but it's got quite a bit of fallout in it. We go in with the shade Latte. There's not a lot of color payoff with this one. If you have darker skin, you're probably not going to get that much of a... Um, I'm going to grab chocolate and see if it works a little bit better. This literally looks like I'm not applying anything to my eye. Still, there's not a lot of anything happening. Okay, let's try a shimmer shade. I'm gonna grab the color Caramel, which looks really exciting. I'm just gonna use my finger because this is what I would normally do with um, my other eyeshadows. Try and just apply it. These eyeshadows are sucky. <laughs> I actually had um, high hopes for this eyeshadow palette, but this really is not a good eyeshadow palette. I don't know if you guys can see what's happening. There is like, there's a little bit of shimmer on there. It's mostly falling out, and I'm not getting a lot of color payoff. We'll try out Cafe here. Cafe and Showtime look like the exact same shade. It's a little bit better. It still has a really dry consistency, and it's not very creamy. Do Showtime and see if Showtime works a little bit better. Okay. Showtime is better. It has a better formula. I think it's got better color payoff. Dang. Okay, so I'm going to use that brush that we used initially uh, and try and pack the color chocolate on this outer area. Okay. This color chocolate is a piece of crap. <laughs> Even when I apply it, it applies and then it's like it just it starts blending away without you even blending anything. You, do you, does that make sense? Let's try marshmallow. This is gonna be beautiful. Ooh. Okay, this is the only shade that has been good. But it could just be because I had a lot of product on there. The shade marshmallow is the only color that actually has a lot of color payoff. And it's a really intense um like brightening I, I do like that color I'm just to use it as a highlight and we'll see if that works I'm gonna use the shade cream and it worked pretty well um it does show quite a bit of texture so if you do have a lot of texture problems, you might not like to use it for that, but it's nice and it definitely shows up, so. Last thing, which is going to be very bold, um, are, is the Lip Trio in the shade Timeless. This was $3 for a lip liner, a cream lip gloss, and a metallic lip gloss. The lip liner first. A little bit of mascara just so that this look looks a little bit more completed. And the funny thing is, you really can't even tell that I have two different shades on my eyes. You can a little bit, but um, I'm starting to itch on my face. And I'm hoping it's not the foundation. A 
Okay, so this is a pretty nice lip liner, I think. It's a pretty generic. Um, it's not super creamy, but it does have quite a bit of color payoff, so. I'm going to use the cream lip gloss now. This looks slightly more of an orangier red. Okay, so this is... tastes um and smells like plastic <laughs> cheap plastic it almost feels like it's setting like my lips are kind of starting to stick together this might actually be um, a nice lip color. My lips, it doesn't feel like um, a liquid lipstick does, like where it feels kind of thick. It's very lightweight, um, but it's not super uncomfortable. And it's actually a lot more comfortable than like a liquid lipstick is, I think. So let's try the metallic lip gloss. I'm gonna like this color better, but whatever. This looks like a five year old's lip gloss. I can't really tell if the metallic one sets like the other one does or not. I wouldn't say this is a bad product. It doesn't really seem to be drying out my lips a lot. Let's do a transfer test. Nothing on my hand. There's a little bit of transfer. It's not awful. And it sets. So it's a nice kind of, um, it's a nice color, I think. Uh, yeah, I think this is probably my favorite thing out of all of it. Um, I thought I was going to hate this. I thought this was going to be something that was awful, and I didn't like it at all. But I actually really enjoy this, and I enjoy the way that it sets on your lips. It doesn't have very much transfer. Let's try it on this side now that it's really set. Very nice. Um... But it still feels like there's just a, a bit of moisture in your lips. Like, I'm kind of surprised that nothing's coming off. Uh, the lip liner seems like it would probably be pretty transfer-proof. The lip liner's generic. But the cream lip gloss? Okay. It, it just leaves kind of like a shimmer behind or a glitter behind. It's not really a metallic shade, I don't think. I liked this. The rest of it, I don't think I would get. Uh, I really think the only thing that was worth it was this. Um... But yeah, so go try out some of the lip trios from Rue 21, okay? Ooh. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one.